Hello. How do you know what to do in life? How do you know what to say to a girl? Well, this answer can be explained through martial arts. How do you know what move to use when you're amidst a fight? When you're amidst training, even sparring? What do you know what to do? Well, if you've trained particular things, say like for a resume, for example, if you've rehearsed certain things to say, from those certain things, you can then use those trained moves when the moment presents itself. You don't know exactly what you're going to do, what you're going to say, you just hold a frame of mind. You try to maintain composure, maintain a specific kind of energy, and then you let that mental frame articulate out what you've prepared. Do you always know what to say? No. It just kind of happens by itself. You feel it, it articulates itself out authentically, and through that premise, you attack what is open and contract versus what is coming at you. It's a dance, an ebb and flow. Expand and contract, as Bruce Lee had said. And the same thing is true with life in its entirety, even when you're talking to a pretty girl. What do you know what to say? You don't. You're starting to get an understanding of what's going on, aren't you? It's the frame of mind. You don't know what you're going to say, you just hold an energy, you hold a frame of mind, and based upon what is presented, whether it's her shoes, what she's wearing, what you feel like saying to her, what you feel like saying based upon what is presented, that's what you say, and from there you kind of dance, the same way you do in martial arts. You just kind of flow with what is presented based upon your training, based upon who you are, who you've become. You are what you do, thus you are what you've trained. Thus, you express yourself as what you are. You express yourself as what you've trained, based upon the frame of mind, your composure, holding a frame, a frame of mind. Through that frame, it acts as a filter for a desired outcome. If you have a negative frame, you're more likely to see negative things, which make you say negative things, reinforcing a negative reality. Self-sabotage, they say. Whereas the reverse is true. If you have an optimistic frame, a positive frame, if you feel like you're going to win, like a champion says, I knew I was going to be champion before I was. Many champions have said this before they were. How did I know I was going to be a champion? I already knew I was. It's the same thing. You have to hold a frame of mind, and through that frame, you articulate out what you are. And what you are is what you've trained, what you've done, the influences you've taken in, the books you've read perhaps, the shows you've watched, the people you grew up with. When you understand, you realize it's less about the how. You let the how come into fruition naturally as you transverse this plane. And the main focus should be the why instead. Why should you do something? Why are you worthy? Why are you deserving? What wakes you up in the morning is your why. It creates an energy. You use that to reinforce your frame of mind. And through that process, the how happens as it should based upon who you've become. So what the processes you've committed yourself to. So, what should you say? You now realize it's the wrong question. It's not a matter of what to say. It's a matter of what kind of frame of mind are you taking into a certain situation. This is true when talking to girls and knowing what to say. This is true with that and life in its entirety. It's true with fighting. You hold a mental frame. You cultivate a mental frame and then you flow from that frame. The frame is a filter flowing out the river of life. Your river of life. You're given a stream and you choose how that stream manifests based upon your frame. When you understand, you realize this is true with all things, all facets of life. What do you say? Wrong question. What frame of mind do I have? How can I cultivate the right frame based upon what I want. That's just it. Why are you doing it? Why should you do it? Why are you worthy of it? Muhammad Ali's frame, for example, 
I am the greatest. When you understand, you've now been given a key for all things. Share the video, it'll help a lot of people. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. I truly do appreciate it, and until next time, peace.